Hey everyone, it's Melissa here to plan in my funky floral mini happy planner. This is the first week of the month of April, which means a brand new design in my planner. Love the florals on the top and I want to design an entire spread matching those florals. That's why I picked that sticker underneath Sunday. Love how the mini sticker books have stickers that fit perfectly inside the days of the mini happy planner including these boxes. Now I kind of like to offset them a bit, I just think it looks better, but I love this giant box that has a big place for you to write, things that you need to get done, but I love the florals and the Choose Happy mini sticker book. I feel like even if you don't have a mini, it's a great sticker book to have. These florals are so gorgeous, the colors are so vibrant, and there's two different styles, one that's more pink, the other one more lavender, and I love the versatility of using both of these stickers in all different sizes of planners. I've been hoarding this sticker book for a while, but I decided it was time to really use it this year, especially since I chose the Funky Floral Mini Happy Planner to match with the Choose Happy Mini sticker book. Now this last big sticker is actually cut up into two different words from one of the Trendsetter sticker books. As the spread progressed, I decided to do a pink and teal theme. I find I tend to gravitate towards these colors, but I also wanted to do darker colors like using the black headers, as well as that navy to-do list header on Friday. I love stacking these florals on top of each other and just making a giant bouquet. I'm loving how the spread turned out. I think it looks really pretty but still functional for me. If you like this video, please click like and don't forget to subscribe.